Hi, welcome to Turn Right Machine Works. My name is Keith. Every once in a while, you'll have uh, a customer where you're doing some uh, work for them already. And then he comes in the door. He's got a new project, not even related to what you're working on already. And see now you're working on this project. And the new project you're bringing in is prioritized in his eyes a little more important than what you're already working on and he asks you to switch off and put your time in on this new job and that's what I call a slider uh, so today's slider is a shaft for another machine and uh, we got uh, two bearing diameters on here and one's perfectly fine and uh, this the second uh, diameter here is an eighth of an inch uh, worn uh, and we got snap ring groove at one end of it, just like at the other end here. And uh, we're going to go ahead and set it up and we're going to well build this and then remachine the bearing fit and uh, get this back to him today so he can get this assembled and then we can get back on to his other project. So it's kind of what we're doing today. <laughs> Sometimes two is better than one. I had to break out a new one. I was, uh, you know, I was, I was really getting toasty on this finger here. Uh, I'm leaning on that one there, but uh, this one here was getting toasty just from uh, the, uh, the heat on it there. So, all right, we're back in action here now.
Looks like we got real tight to that one side of the snap ring. Now that's not the pressure side of the snap ring. So this this side over here is pressure side of the snap ring, and, and uh, that's in real good shape because the thrust never rubbed up against that. <laughs> Let her cool down and I think uh, we're ready to machine a new bearing diameter there. Alright, um, first off I, I apologize, I just had to get in a push to get this done and and, uh, and then I had lunch and got back out here. But uh, here's, here's the diameter that we wall it up and you can see the well penetrated on down here. I want to make sure I got a good shoulder, square shoulder against the back of the bearing. And I was able to get enough in here where I actually had to take a little tiny skim in there and I got this tool bit right in there and just kissed that a little bit on the side so that we make sure that we got our snap ring flow, flowing in here fine and a nice fit on there now this, this ring here is used and uh, it's it's got some uh, actually I'll put it I'm gonna put it on backwards here just to be able to compensate and make sure that a real one fits in there fine. Pushing that in, snap, snap, all the way in.